In this video, I am going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail in PowerPoint. And I am specifically going to show you how I create my YouTube thumbnails. This is my channel Deku Pages web where I teach my audience how to create websites using WordPress. So if you are interested in making websites for your business or whatever, this channel is for you. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube thumbnail modeling what I have on my channel. If you look at this thumbnail, it's the same as this as well as this. So I'm going to be using this style in this tutorial. So to create a thumbnail like this, you will need some basic elements. You will need an image of what you are going to talk about. It can either be a logo of a brand or an image of an item. Another element you may want to add is a picture of yourself, which is not really mandatory. As you can see, this one, I don't have my picture there, here, here, and here. So having your picture on your thumbnail will depend upon what you want. One other key element you may need is a color with regards to your branding. You can choose whatever color you want, but choosing a color of your brand will be ideal. So if you look at most of my thumbnails, you see this green color at the background. This one is having a yellow background, but you see that my text is having that green color right here. And finally, you may also want to add some text, which is emphasizing what you are going to be talking about in your video. So without wasting further time, let's get started with a step-by-step -step tutorial. Having opened PowerPoint, the first thing I do is clear these text boxes. So I quickly go over to layout, then I choose blank. It should be noted that this dimension we have right here is perfect for our thumbnail because it's using the 16 by 9 dimension. If we go over to design, size, you see that widescreen is selected, which is 16 by 9. So you don't really need to make any changes with regards to the dimension. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a background color to my thumbnail. So I go over to design, then I click on format background. It should be noted that you can use a solid fill, gradient fill, picture or texture fill, or you can even use a pattern fill. Let's see how gradient fill will look like. So I just go ahead and select it and you see how it is. From here and the gradient stops, we have four different stops. If I select this one, I can choose a color for that. And you see it applying on my thumbnail background. Like this. And finally, that. So this is gradient. At the moment, it is set to linear. You can choose radial, regular, sorry, rectangular, or you can even choose path. For this demonstration, we are not going to use gradient. I'm going to go ahead and use solid fill. And the color, this is where I choose the color I want to use for my thumbnail. So you can choose any color of your choice. You can either choose whatever color you want or a color of your branding. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a color of my branding. So I click on color right here. Then I go over to more colors. I make sure custom tab is selected. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and enter the hex code to the color I want to use. I have it copied to my clipboard. I'll just go ahead and paste it in. To see it in action, I'll just click aside somewhere here. And you see the color right there. I click on OK to apply. The next thing I'm going to do is get an image of myself right here. I have the image here. Meanwhile, it's having a background which I don't need. So first of all, I'm going to use a free online tool to take off the background. It should be noted that you can also use PowerPoint to remove the background of your image, but I will not be covering that in this tutorial. However, if you want me to make a video concerning that, let me know in the comment section below and I will consider making the video. So this is the free tool I'm going to use to remove the background of my image. It is called remove.bg. So I'll just go to my folder, click and drag, then I drop it right here. And the AI is doing its thing at the background. And boom, we are right there. Perfect. I just go ahead and click on download to have a copy of it into my PC. I can just give it whatever name I want. Maybe image. I'm going to take it to this folder called thumbnail. I click on save. It is saved. I can exit from here. I don't need it anymore. I have my image right here. You see that the background is off. So what I can easily do, I can drag and drop the image here into PowerPoint. 
or if i don't want to do that i take it off then i go over to insert pictures this device i open this folder i have it right here select it and i click on insert and it is added i'll reposition it I don't really need the full image to appear so something like this so this is how it will look like when we are done with the thumbnail next thing I'm going to do is apply shadow effects to my image so I go over to picture effects then I hover on shadow I'll choose outer the middle one that is that is offset center I hope you can see the shadow next I go back to picture effects again shadow going down to shadow options i'm going to apply a color at the moment it's set to black i'm going to go ahead and make it white next i go over to glow and the color i'm going to set it to white the size is too big so i reduce it like this i think four is cool perfect the next thing i'm going to do is add an image which will depict what i'll be talking about in my thumbnail so I go over to insert pictures this device I have the image here I select it then I click on insert it is added I can reposition it and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it like this maybe I don't need the upper part of it so what I do is go over to picture format then I click on crop choose crop then I go ahead and take the upper part off like this then I click back on crop. I reposition it. I think this will do. And I'm going to send it behind this image. So I click on send backward. Maybe I can increase it a bit. Like this. So this is how it will look like. Don't worry about the bottom part right here next i'm going to add some text to put more emphasis on what i'll be talking about in my video so i go over to insert text box i'll just draw the text box right here then i enter blogging hit enter in 2024 i'm going to go ahead and increase the size of the text maybe i can change the font to a font that will pop i think area black is good i'll further increase the size see that the word blogging is longer than in 2024 so i'm going to go ahead and select only this then i increase the size to match with the word blogging maybe i'll make it 85 i think 85 is cool i'll move it up a bit and i'm going to go ahead and change the color to white i'm going to go ahead and hide this portion like this then i'll increase the size of this image right here like this then i'll go ahead and increase the size of this text maybe 80 and then this one 110 perfect i'll apply a shadow to the image i just selected then i go over to picture format and i'm going to go ahead and use this similarly i do the same thing to my text shape format and i go over to shape effects i choose shadow then i'm going to go ahead and choose outer bottom right let me take a look by going to slideshow this is perfect i like it i exit and now I am done designing my thumbnail in PowerPoint. It's time to export it. So I go over to File, Save As. I click on Browse. I'll take it to my Downloads, this folder. 
I can give it whatever name I want. And the save as type, I drop down the arrow. I can either use JPEG or PNG. Either way, they will all take you to the same place. For this demonstration, I'll use PNG. Then I'll go ahead and click on save. Which slide do you want to export? Just this one. Let's take a look. I have it right here. I open it up. And right here is my thumbnail. Isn't this cool? So that's it on how you can create a YouTube thumbnail using PowerPoint. In the meantime, stick around to watch another video from the channel. Keep watching and we will talk soon.